ability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confuses me. edition of Eagle Outlook. Let's start things off with Lisa and class highlights. Hi, my name is Lisa Foss, and on this month's edition of Class Highlights, I'll be highlighting Ms. Bundren's new social works class. Her class has done many activities and had many guest speakers so far. Some activities they've done so far are creating a share table and a hoodie drive. A hoodie drive is where you bring in your old and used hoodies for the kids who don't have one, and a share table is the table set up in commons for packaged food that you haven't eaten. You can set on the table, and kids who are still hungry can take it and eat it. Let's go see what Ms. Bundren has to say about her new class. I'm here with Ms. Bundren, the teacher of the new social works class, who has also been doing many projects with her class so far. Okay, and what's the main focus of the class? Uh, careers are in social work, what the history of social work is. Uh, governmental policies, um, international policies affect helping people and working with people and um, what kinds of things impact our government. Okay, and what are some future projects you plan on doing with your class this year? And the next thing that we, that our class has asked to do has to do with Operation Christmas Child which is the shoe boxes at Christmas. Well and thank you Ms. Bundren. You're welcome. I'm here with senior Emma Wells. So Emma what's your favorite part about the class? My favorite part about the class is how we have really interesting guest speakers and get to do projects for hands-on experience. And how do you believe this class will help you in the future? I believe this class will help me in the future because Social work is important in every career, regardless of what it is, because you have to know how to get along with people and assess their needs. And what was your guys' favorite project that you did in the class so far? My favorite project we've done so far was when we went to a place called Gumdrops in Carterville, and we made blessing in a backpack sacks for kids in need. Thank you, Emma. Thanks, Lisa. Now let's see where Lindsay's traveling with Club Watch. I'm Lindsay Miles, and this person. Hi, I'm Lindsay Miles, and on this month's edition of Club Watch, I'm covering the Travel Club's Frick. Hey, oh, I'm Lindsay Miles, and on this month's edition of Club Watch, I'm covering the Travel Club going to Italy. Ciao! On October 9th, the VHS Travel Club left for Italy. They met their tour guide Patrizio at the airport and started their tour by traveling to Venice and Milan and got to visit Juliet's balcony in Verona. The next day, the group took a ferry to Venice where they got to watch a glass-blowing demonstration, take a tour of St. Mark's Square, the Grand Canal, Doge's Palace, and got to experience gondola rides. On the 12th, the group of 34 traveled to Venice and saw Pisa della Soria, Ponet Vincio, and the Basilica of Santa Cro. The Leaning Tower of Pisa and the adjacent cathedral and baptistry were the next day's sites. After dinner the same night, the students were given the option of walking around Florence and seeing the town. The group then traveled to Assisi the next morning and had free time after to shop and explore. A long travel day from Florence to Rome was next where they would visit Vatican City, the Sistine Chapel, and Peter's Basilica. Afterwards, they went to the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, 
and later saw the Trevi Fountain, where if it said, if you toss a coin into the water over your left shoulder, you will return to Italy someday. The group's last day was the Pompeii ruins. Afterwards, they traveled back to the hotel for dinner to start packing up. On the 17th, after wishing Patrizio goodbye, our VHS travelers were on their way home. Thanks, Lindsay. Now let's see what Trey's covering in Eagle Center. On October 15th, the Viana volleyball team faced Goreville. Their season record was 10 wins and 14 losses. It's been pretty good. We've had our ups and downs, but the program is steadily growing. It would have to be Chester because in past years we haven't beaten them, but this year we beat them here at home. Always give 100%, don't forget your knee pads, and don't cry when you get hit in the face. On September 21st, the Viana Eagles football team played Johnson City. The ending score was 0-48, and the Viana Eagles ended their season with a record of 0-9. On September 25th, the boys golf teams participated in the Black Diamond Conference, which was held at Franklin County Golf Course. At conference, Dawson Hill shot a 95. Drew Mosier had an ending score of 101. Trey Vaughn had an ending score of 88. Tyler Votava ended his round with a 107. And Alex Miller finished his round with a score of 90. Thanks, Trey. Now let's take it to Kinsey with Eagle Features. What's up? It's Spidey, and on this month's edition of Eagle Features, I'm going to be showing you the trick and treats of the Monster Mash at VHS last Friday. And shivers down your spine Shrieking skulls will shock your soul And seal your doom tonight Spooky, scary skeletons Speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise When you hear these zombies shriek We're so sorry, skeletons You're so misunderstood You only want to socialize But I don't think we should A spooky, scary skeleton Shouts startling, shrilly screams They'll sneak them, there's a couple of girls And just won't leave you be Scary, 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 scary,
Thanks, Kinsey. Now let's see what Haley's doing in Haley's Hits. Put your head on my When I was thinking about what to do for Eagle Outlook this year, I came up with this segment called Haley's Hits. My name is Haley Bundren and each month I'll interview a VHS student about their favorite song. This month, I'm going to interview senior Gabe Holloman. I wasn't sure where to find him, but thankfully I finally found out that he was in the band room, so I started to head that way. It took me a while, but once I finally found him, I asked Gabe what his favorite song was this month. He said his favorite song was Igor's Theme by Tyler the Creator, because the beat is sick and the samples they used really kicked off the album. I'll drive. Okay. Okay. YOLO. That's a Thanks, Haley. Now let's take it to a spooky, spooky edition of That's So Hip with Reagan. So crazy. Yeah, I can't believe that happened. What was that? It sounded like it was from back there. Let's go check it out. Thanks, Reagan. We hope you enjoyed this month's edition of Eagle Outlook. Happy Halloween, and we'll see you next month. Maybe.